Good morning. Morning. Yeah, we just arrived at the Royal Naval Dock in Bermuda. This is our last stop on this wonderful 14-day cruise. And Bermuda, a lot of people don't know this, but a lot of people think that the Bermuda is in the Caribbean, where it's actually in the North Atlantic. It has nothing to do with the Caribbean. In fact, the closest island to it is some island off of North Carolina. But Bermuda has a lot of interesting stories and you probably know about it from the Bermuda Triangle where all these ships and airplanes just disappeared here. mysteriously. And we're still here. And we're still here. But yeah, uh, Bermuda, you know, is actually um, an archipelago. It has seven main islands and a bunch of other 180 some other small islands all around. And at its largest point, it's like 25 miles by two miles. So you're always close to the ocean by one mile. So in any type of direction you go, you're only um, one mile away from the ocean. And we're really excited to be here because we have a lot of things to see. We have a five and a half hour tour around the island and we get yeah. to see some of the wonderful iconic sites of this place like um, uh, the lighthouse, which is one of the oldest lighthouses, you know, um, in the world. Um, we're going to be seeing some uh, colonial uh, architecture. We're going to see uh, St. George, which is a UNESCO protected uh, city, wow. you know, that kind of Amazing. like uh, is very, very similar to what they had, you know, during the days they had it. Wow. And Bermuda actually is the oldest um, it's like a preserved city? Yeah, it's like a UNESCO preserved city, yeah. And um, uh, Bermuda uh, is actually the oldest uh, overseas territory uh, uh, of the British. So uh, it has a lot of history here. And, and at one time, because it was such a small island and it didn't have much of a, you know, nobody was living here, they had a population of three. And interesting fact, Bermuda um, was actually inspired, actually inspired John Lennon, you know, and he came over here on his boat and he wrote about 20, 25 songs here on Bermuda. And also it inspired Shakespeare to write the play The Tempest. Apparently there were some English sailors who were blown off course and shipwrecked on this island and that inspired Shakespeare to write that very famous play. So anyway, we're really excited to be excited. here. There's so much to see, and we'll be showing you um, the things that we see and hope you enjoy it. All right, and I'm gonna show you. Look at this water. My God. It's so, it's turquoise. It's like aquamarine. And then there's a dock there. It's just gorgeous. So that's part of Bermuda too, right? Right, that's all Bermuda. And so we're going to um, meet our group uh, about 8.45. So we have about 15 minutes to get down the dock. And that's where we meet our tour. It's like a five and a half hour tour, but I think it's going to be really interesting. We get to see a drawbridge, also one of the oldest drawbridges and smallest drawbridges in the world. So oh, nice. that's going to be fascinating. Awesome. Okay. Tune in. All right, we're walking on the long hallway, and we're gonna take.
Put your name behind the wheel. 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 One of the passengers yeah. have their yeah. wheelchair on the bus and the bus yeah. won't allow it. Yeah. For safety reasons, the owner of the wheelchair is Portuguese and cannot speak English anymore, can't understand English as well. So, One churches every mile. There's a church. There's McDonald's back over to uh, America. Yeah. So it's interesting that the roof of the house is here. Actually, it's shaped light. Now, so if you guys use, take a good look, uh, look if that. you take a good look, Bermuda is a very, very green place. The only reason why it's Harry not a so tropical is semi-tropical. The Lewis so the the roofs are made of lime. Then you put the slate on the roofs. It has to be washed every three years. Wash it. Smallest drawbridge in the world. Take a good look. Started off three trees here 200 years ago, and it's a jungle now. The banyan trees. That uh, was the banyan. The popular color is Bermuda. All kinds of on your toenails. Okay. These houses are like on your toes. We have all color. <laughs> the same color. <laughs> Carrots and onions. That they used to call us Bermuda onions way back in the past because we exported onions. St. Patrick's, St. Michael's Church, you have a lot of churches in Bermuda. Stop right up and like big man, it gets hard. Look how old. This is what's built for Buda's houses and roofs. This is called Front Street. They just took down a building right here. A very, very old building. All the cruise ships way back in the past were small. When I say small, they'd have about 150, 100, 1500 people. They used to all dock up and down. Now you guys are all mega ships that carry 6,000 people. 
if it, if he bought one of their ships in our harbor, it would touch. Oh yeah. That is Bermuda Cedar on the right hand side. You see how it glows? That is our precious wood. And it can last for many, many millenniums. Okay, so we're right now in the city of Hamilton, or this is the capital of Bermuda, and it really is a beautiful green. island. It is yeah. so green. There's mm. so many forested oh. areas and mm. It's just gorgeous, but it is an expensive place. Yeah. Gas costs anywhere from eight to eleven dollars a gallon, yeah. and apartments and property are just out of sight. They're kind of like Palm Springs and San Francisco I prices, know. like condos going for like six hundred thousand dollars or whatever. It's just a very small island, Beautiful. and probably a lot of people like to live here. But it's yeah. a, a very diverse city um, or just, island. Did you notice the the roofs? Yeah, the roofs are so good because they have a lot of hurricanes here. The roofs are made with limestone and some and pl uh, planks, and um, uh, they're built like pyramids to withstand, you know, the winds that come when they have the hurricanes. So I mean, it really is beautiful. They have a unique architecture, and the buildings are so colorful. You know, they yeah. have pastels and pinks and things. It's really beautiful to look at you know no, and the water so, is beautiful the water is turquoise and clear yeah. so i wonder you know how much Amazing. hotels would cost here if you wanted to spend more time or what rents are like but they're going to be showing us where the airport is because um that was a very pleasant drive from the dock to hamilton where we are right now so we're going to walk around yeah okay, i saw an, a gay flag okay check it out oh fantastic yeah. over yeah. there yeah so we're going to a place called flying colors where he says you can get um, great souvenirs. God, it is beautiful here. Yeah, look at that. So it's a British territory. Yeah, it's a British territory. And he says that there are like so many churches here. Like yeah. every mile has a church. And it's a very diverse, they have all different religions here, all different people, people yes. of all different races live here. And he says they all get along. What's going on? Uh, Push button, wait for signal. Push button, wait for signal. So it's red. So look at that. It's red. Or jewelry. Ah. Nice. It's overcast right now. It's cool. Much cooler than the other islands we were at. Because we're now in the North Atlantic. Yeah. It's really pretty. It's really beautiful. Mm. Waterfront man. <sighs> so, to get here, we are right now in... Saint, no, no, this is not Saint George. No, this is Hamilton. Hamilton. Hamilton's so, the capital. So to get here from the port, you really have to drive. Yeah, it's about yeah. a forty-five minute drive so far, so. and uh, it was very pleasant because yeah. you know it's it's so picturesque. You don't even know the time is going by. So, like I said, if you want to see the Hamilton, you have to rent a taxi no, or something from the port. Problem. Flying colors. Taffy. Oh, they have rum cake here too. Fifty-five dollars. Is that thirty-nine? I think it's an American price. I don't know if they're um, American dollars yeah. or Bermuda dollars. They are American dollars. Bermuda. 
$6.95, Those are US dollars. Okay. Oh, shirts. Okay. Let's go to the shirts. Let's check some of these out and short them. Yeah. Oh. How about coasters? Mm -hmm. I love that. <laughs> Duty free cruise ship and yachts. With the sunshine, da, 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 da. Now we're walking this street and it's. I wish really I could breathing. spend more time. We'd have to come know. back and spend more time because we're kind of rushed. We just have like 40 minutes 40 to minutes. see everything yeah. in the town, touristy areas, of course. Yeah. And they point us to all the touristy areas, but that's not bad. I mean, it's you get to see a slice of it and get a feel for the island. But yeah. I think this island deserves a longer stay, definitely. Yep. Enjoy the beach, but right now it's <coughs> cold. And so, the water, he said, is very cold for them. Yeah. It's that's like 65 degrees. But come summer, they're busy. Yeah, it warms up. I think this is a fancy tourist area. That's why you can tell by the prices and uh, mm -hmm. more expensive, you know. Right. But it's worth exploring. It's gorgeous. And this is Hamilton. Yeah. This is where all of the stuff that they need, they import almost everything. Mm -hmm. So it comes into the port, it's unloaded and yeah. distributed. But it's very, very quaint. I mean, it's kind of like an old English town feeling, mm -hmm. you yes. know, back in the day. So it's really yeah. unique architecture, especially with the pyramid roofs. Right. Now, I thought it was going to be that cold. But it's actually it's not, not too cold. Yeah. It's it's pleasant. Mm -hmm. It's about 70 degrees now, so it's kind of a not humid at all, but a nice breeze is right now yeah. here. And so, where's our next stop? Um, uh, I don't know. Is it St. George? I, well, I know we're going to St. George, but mm -hmm. I don't know what our next stop is because yeah, my first time here on the island. Yeah. Now let's take some photos. So nice. It's breezy, but it's not that cold. And we're wearing shorts too. So, yeah. And here's the Bermuda sign. Pastel. That's the stone that built Bermuda houses. They cut right through here many, many moons ago. So many years ago, it's gorgeous. They named it after him because he was such a, a gentleman. 
a great oldest town and the first town in Bermuda called St. George's Town. You see how they connect the islands, the bridges, and so forth? This is the oldest town. Now we're in St. George's, which is the oldest town. You know, in Bermuda founded something like the 1600s. And he was telling us the story that uh, this place was first discovered by the Spaniards. And they didn't want the island, so they gave it to this Englishman, uh, you know, named George or whatever. And he said, oh yeah, I want the island. And they a really smart idea. I don't know why they didn't want this island. It's so beautiful. So you just checked that so restaurant? So I just checked this restaurant, which we want to go to, but we don't have time to eat there. But just looking at the prices, and damn, <laughs> $28 for a fish sandwich. He was talking about the fish sandwich. It sounded good. Wow. Wow. I would say $2.80 sounds good, but let's check some of the... that look it's beautiful isn't it yeah and then there's a church over there so let's oh go on God. you want to go this way? yeah and there's a church over there too which go road there first to... okay oh this is a nice alley so how old is this town again well it was built in the 1600s i think he said 1609 so that would make it wow over 400 years old and then some change and then they have a church here, you know, St. Peter's Church here. It's the oldest church in the Western Hemisphere. Right here. I think right. we found it. I don't think that's not St. Peter's, is it? No, but no I that's not. See that. Look at that. Wow. Look at this. Ta -da. And there's a. Nice. Look at that. I love the roads here. They're all brick laid and gives it such a different feeling and like another world feeling. Look at it, it's so beautiful. And a lot of these homes, he said, were passed down from generation to generation. So good luck in trying to find one unless you have a, a billion dollar, you know, bank account. Uh, and then the dollar is equivalent to the Bermuda, Bermuda dollar. It's one to one. One is to one. Expensive. That's why that $28 uh, fish sandwich was wow. It's expensive because <laughs> we don't get $28 sandwich in yeah. Palm Springs. Well, he said this is one of the most expensive places in the world. Yeah. One of the most expensive. Let's, let's get in there. There's this monument here. Look at that. And this is a park mm -hmm. what in commemoration say? of the settlement of these islands on the 28th of July in 1609. So it was built in 1609 in honor of Admiral Sir George Summers, at whose instant largely the settlement was affected. This memorial has been erected out of a grant made by the legislature of the colony. So 16 to 9, that's 300 years. Wow. wow. From 1609 to 1909. Nice park. Nice little park, huh? It's so green. Oh, gents. Where is it going? How do you Adam? get in here? Only right here. There's a bathroom there. I'm going to use it. <laughs> you know, we don't get to stop. At least we get to stop 
for at least 30 minutes, 40 minutes, which is better than nothing. Otherwise, I, I prefer it to the drive-by. You know, so you watch, look on the bus, and then afterwards you stop for about 30, 40 minutes, yep. buy some stuff. Buy some stuff. I wish I had a fast food place where oh, you could get the... You don't know where, where to look. I love the pastels and the pinks. Yeah. The buildings are very colorful and it's so much variety. It makes it really interesting. And our guy says they love pink here. My yes. God. So they also drive on the right. That is a supermarket. Side. It's a right hand driving. So they drive on the left hand side. I don't know. Yeah. Tasty hot sauce. Ooh. I don't know. You want a hot dog? Oh, it's a gelato place. Can I have a hot dog? Do you want a hot dog? Yeah. So, quick snack. Yummy. Mm. Good, huh? That's a good hot dog. Mm -hmm. A good meat Oh, that was good. That was um, good. That just yeah. hits the spot. Just mm -hmm. need a little something to tie this over. Yeah. Only three bucks. Only three bucks as opposed yeah. to the $28 fish sandwich. I know. <laughs> and then the coffee. I wanted coffee. It's $7 for a coffee that I have to add milk. <laughs> yeah. And wow. then... Uh, Where was it? $7? Right there. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. I mean, they, have no, they don't have soda. Tea is four bucks. Oh, here, what about this place here? Party so supply. No, that's a party supply place. Let's go down that island. Mm -hmm. Robes and runners. So we'll take a left here because we don't have a lot of time. Yep. Oh, it's a museum. Oh, look at this. And back to the pod. So, we're seeing what's around the corner here. Oh, let's... Okay. Oh, yeah. That's we have a cool. few minutes to... Water Street. Look at that. Nice. Saltwater jewelry design. British territory, they use the US dollar. Yes, because they had more US tourists coming here. Yeah, so they decided. Yeah, he said from New York, from Boston, North Carolina, and Miami. Yeah. And they have a new airport now. Yeah, the airport looks really nice, really nice. so it makes it, it easier to get over here. Say, uh, our souvenir shops. So this is St. George, and it's really a small town, but historic. Very historic. And it's really pretty. So. Mm. All right, now talk about the roof. It is made in a pyramid shape to withstand the hurricanes that they get here. Yeah, look at that. So it reminds me of the Chichen Itza pyramid, the structure, how they do it. And it's made of limestone. Yes, which has an antibacterial effect too. 
There's something in the limestone that mm. kills bacteria. And look at this marvelous oh. view. Oh my, fabulous view. Look at that. Mmm. But sadly, we have to go back to our bus now because we don't want to get left behind. So we're going to walk faster. Our bus. Yep. Hi, St. George. Beautiful. Look at that. The water is aquamarine, turquoise. It's just fabulous. And look at that. Is that St. George? Yeah, that's Sir George. Really nice water. Oh my God. Yes. I would love to go to the beaches. It's, it's too bad it's not sunny. Mm. Here at one of the beautiful beaches that our driver took us to. And really nice white sandy beaches, kind of powdery. Yeah. He said, unfortunately, it's not sunny today, but you get an idea. Well, look at that, how white the mm -hmm. sand is. God, I'd love to jump in. What a beautiful view. Then you have the houses along the side yeah. that look so nice. I like the yellow house. Oh, nice. It's really fine if you look at the sand. Feel it. Oh. It's really fine. Oh, wow. This it's would be beautiful. wonderful, you know, during the summertime. Yeah. When it's warmer, just to chill. Mm -hmm. Wow. And it just kind of reminds me of Hawaii. It has that feel to it. Mm -hmm. So beautiful. Look at the the winding roads that go up. It's so uh -huh. green. Can we go further up a little bit? Yeah. Look at that building over there. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. look at that. that. Reminds me of uh, Bondi, right? But more pristine. More un... Yeah. A lot less pristine. crowded. Yeah. It's so beautiful though. It's really white sandy beach. Mm -hmm. Oh, I... Oh. I'm glad that we got to see a beach, you know? Yes. I mean, we've been on this cruiser 14 days. This is one of the first beaches we've actually been to. Mm-hmm. We got to touch the sand. Yeah. But we're not going in there because, you know, we're not wearing proper shoes. So. Yeah, and it's just for 10 minutes, so. Yeah, no. So, beautiful. Our last stop right now, we're at the Gilps Hills Lighthouse. It's supposed to be the oldest and one of the, yeah, one of the oldest iron cast lighthouses uh, in the world. Mm -hmm. And it's still in effect. And here you have a panoramic view yeah, of amazing. the southern part of Bermuda. It's just amazing. And then you're able to see um, from far off anyone coming to attack your island or whatever. It's still, just take a look at it up there. It's mm. pretty tall. Look at this view. Look at that view. It's amazing. <laughs> Wind vane over there. Weather vane. Or weather vane. Wow. Then we can go all the way down. Yeah. Right. This we only have. Watch your step. And again, I thought it's going to be cold, but. Let's see what it looks like. Just 
Perfect. God, I can't believe I'm not cold, actually. Look at these houses here. Wow. Look at that. Whoa! So I want to, I want to touch, let me touch the lighthouse. Okay, Marconi, okay. let's go. So we drove all the way around here, went up here, went to the city of Hamilton, then went up to the airport, went to St. George, yeah. came around. And we're here right now at the Gibbs Hill Lighthouse. And then now we're gonna be going down past Southampton, back to the dockyard. Oh, wow. So we got a really good excursion. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. A real great. Wow, that's amazing. amazing. No wonder it took five hours. Mm -hmm. So we're at the Clock Tower Mall right now, and this is in the, by dockyards, the dockyard. by the dockyards, right where our ship is docked. And we're just checking out the stores and some of the restaurants before we go back on board. Yeah. Uh, we're supposed to leave at 4.30, and right now it's 2.30, so we have about two hours to check things out around here. Yes, it's actually nice. Yeah, Look it's that. a very nice mall. Very It looks historical, but is it old, or...? Uh, these used to be old buildings where used, they used to house the military and the, uh, and the prison. And then they converted it into shops and restaurants and bars. And they're going to actually uh, probably reconvert all of this into a museum of some kind in the future. At least that's what we were told. This was called the Great Eastern Storehouse, completed in 1857. So the Great Eastern Storehouse is now known as the Clock Tower Mall. So this is a storehouse for the dockyards many, many years ago. Yeah, it's made in 1856. Really.
A lovely chap, huh? <laughs> Bermuda. Walking again yeah. and shopping again. Yes. So much. Wow. Yes. And he has no self control when it comes to shopping. How does I have mean? no self control when it comes to eating. What does he mean by that? Just put a menu in front of me and that's it. <laughs> yeah, that's why we're going to a restaurant right now. That's right. <laughs> What's Victual? Victualing? Victualing? Victuals is food, but so you're right. You're good. Well, no, victuals, vit vittles or victuals is is food. Yeah, no, there's restaurants. That's on bistro upstairs, the doctor pastry shop. Does that say onion pie? Frog and onion pie. I pub. Pub. Oh, the frog and onion this way. Oh, look at this. Nice. I was right. Victualing yard. A victualing yard is essentially part of any naval facility. It is the area concerned with the storage, preparation, packaging of food and drink for the fleet. Ah, I was right. Victualing. Yes. From how Old you, English. How do you say it again? Victuals. Victuals. Yes. Victuals. Victualing. I thought it was. And then the American version is vittles. You heard oh, of the word vittles. Vittles comes from victual. Ah, I see. And maybe that's the way it was pronounced. Matalino, Matalino, Valedictorian. Where is it? Oh, see, so this is where this way. Yeah, this is what I was looking for. The National, National Museum. Museum. This one, a photo. Mm -hmm. It's free. <laughs> so they have a walking tour as well, huh? Wow. Home to the dolphins. Oh, this is what he was talking about the mm -hmm. dolphins. The do you could walk, play with the dolphins. Mm hmm. It's so clean. I mean, Bermuda is so clean. And it's green, green grass. It's well manicured and so clean. It's amazing. Yeah. Well, it really looks like an English countryside. Yeah. So, I think we have time. Uh, so, I just want to take a photo. Yeah. So that was, that was Apple Bay Massacre. Yes. Yeah. 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 Woohoo! Yay! Bye, it's Sophie. Iconic. And that's Thank Sophie. You. We have our blog, so you might you might see us. <laughs> All right. Hello. All right. Bye. <laughs> see you. Bye. So, like I said, uh, it reminds me of Intramuros, this fort here, which is the fortified inner city in Manila, mm. where the Spaniards ruled the Philippines for 350 years. Yeah, it's so similar. Very similar.
But all these colonial powers had similar technology and similar designs, so it's, it's not yeah. too surprising. It's architecture. It's amazing. Big, thick walls, you know. Mm -hmm. uh. All right, we're heading back to the ship now. Yes, finally. <laughs> so I think that's the, the end of our adventure, adventure. in Bermuda. Mm -hmm. And we'd like to come back here again. Probably yeah. we'd rent a, a, a Airbnb because it's a lot cheaper than the hotels. And uh, rents here are pretty expensive. Housing prices are expensive. So when you come to an expensive place, you have to find ways to save money. And a good way is Airbnb yeah. or Mr. b and if they have them here. Yeah. Um, and just hunt around for you know good places to eat and things to see and yeah and uh the beach exactly but we encourage you to check out bermuda it's beautiful island it's very clean and it really is a picturesque island yeah but it is on the expensive side on the expensive side oh, so no. make sure you bring a lot of moolah Yay! all right bye bye, bye.